Recrystallization is a technique used by organic chemists to purify a compound. Recrystallization takes advantage of the different solubility properties of different chemicals. Today we will be doing a recrystallization that uses the concept that solubility decreases as temperature decreases. To start a recrystallization, we will add small amounts of an appropriate hot solvent to get the solid to dissolve. An appropriate solvent is one that our desired compound is highly soluble in at high temperatures and not very soluble in at low temperatures. We do not want to add too much solvent or our product will never come back out of solution when we cool it down. Now that our solid is completely dissolved, we need to cool it down slowly. If we cool it down too quickly, we end up with really ugly impure crystals. Let's take a look at the molecular level to figure out why this is. Here we have a mixture of a blue yoga ball shaped chemical and a white person shaped chemical. If we cool the mixture down too quickly, the solubility of both chemicals drops drastically and everything crashes out of solution at once. We end up with impurities stuck within our desired product. Let's take a look at what happens when we slowly cool down our solution. Because we are slowly cooling our solution, the slightly less soluble product can slowly come out of solution, leaving our slightly more soluble impurity behind. This leads to a nice clean product. Through recrystallization, we can remove undesired chemicals and therefore purify our desired product. I've shown you a single solvent recrystallization, but the same molecular level description applies to mixed solvent versions.